particularly challenging situation and it's when there's a difficult or new task at work. All right, so today we're gonna be pricing some merchandise that we have. Here's your price gun. If you look over here, we have our pen is gonna be listed at $50. Our birdhouse is $35. And then each piece of pottery is gonna be $8 each. And let me know when you're done with that, okay? I don't see the point in doing this. This is not real work. How is this not real work? This is part of your job. This is your job description. I don't care. Well, if you're not gonna do it, then I could always find somebody else to do it. I don't care, go ahead, go find someone else. All right. Sometimes students act out or get angry, refuse to do a task when they feel shame or embarrassment about asking for help. We can take the shame out of these situations by teaching individuals that it's okay to ask for help, that they're not supposed to know everything. Okay, so Mike, uh, I want to talk to you about what to do when there's hard work or something new to do. Okay? Are you supposed to know how to do everything? No. Absolutely not, right? The only way to learn things that are new is to try things you don't know how to do. And so when there's hard work to do, first thing you could do is try it. See if you know how to do it. If you don't know, you can ask to watch or ask for help. Is that okay to do? Yes. Like if you don't know how to do it, it's okay to say, mm -hmm. show me. Right? If you get frustrated, you could also make a deal. Meaning you could say, uh, hey, could you help me with one part if I do the other part? Is that okay to do, to make a deal? Yes. Okay. Um, how about taking a break? Can you do that if you get frustrated? Are you allowed to say, can I have a break? Yes. Sure. Would you get in trouble if you did that? No. No. If you do any of these things, ask for help, take a break, would you get in trouble? No. No? That's managing and learning something new instead of getting in trouble, right? Right. Let me show you what I mean. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to ask Jason to give me a job to do. Maybe he's going to ask me to price some, uh, some items in the store. Okay? Okay. And you tell me if I do the right thing or the wrong thing. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so Jason, why don't you ask me to do some pricing? All right, so we're going to price these candles at $5, these candles at $7, and this pot at $9. All right, step one, I'm going to try it. So let's see. If I don't know what to do, what can I do next? Ask to, uh, ask to watch, ask for help. All right, let me do that. Um, Jason, I'm not sure how to do this. Can, can I watch you do it first? Sure, of course, of course. Okay, Take so he'll show me. Let me ask you, did I get mad? Mike, you with me? Did I get mad? No. No, nope. did I ask for help? Yes. So am I gonna learn something new? Yes. And that's it, that's it. You wanna try it? We're gonna have you try it, you ready? Okay. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna pretend to give you something to do and I want you to try when it's hard instead of getting mad, okay? You can ask for help or ask to watch first. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Um, all right, Mike, I have all these items for you to price. This is at $2, this is seven, this is gonna be $8. Go ahead. And what are you gonna do if you're not sure? I'm not sure how I do it. Can, uh, can you help me? Absolutely, perfect, right? Hey, Jason, did he ask for help instead of getting mad? He sure did. You did it the right way. Are you gonna get in trouble? No. Oh. What if you're getting really tired? What can we do then? Ask for a break. High five. Let's do it. And were you going to get in trouble for that? No. Perfect. After we teach the skill trying when it's hard, it's important for staff to remind the individual ahead of time to use that skill before the frustrating task. All right, Mike. So today we're going to be pricing merchandise that we have. Now, are you supposed to know everything to do? No, of course not. Okay, so we are gonna be pricing. Now, I want you to try it first, or you can ask to watch, or you can ask for some help, okay? Okay, can, uh, can you show me how it's done? Show you how it's done to price merchandise? Yes. Sure, no problem. Okay, so what you see here is that we are labeling. All right, Mike, so as you continue to price, if you get a little bit frustrated, let me know and maybe we can make a deal. Sure, can I make a deal with you right now? Sure, what kind of deal would you like to make? If I price the birdhouse at 50, can you help me price the pottery at eight? Sure, go ahead, price the birdhouse. Good, now what's really important, very good, is that you change the price, the price of the price gun to $8. All right, Mike. So we have a couple other things that we have to price before we're finished with today. We have 
a set of four candles. All of these are gonna be priced at $4 each. And we also have this cup that's gonna be priced at $8. If you get frustrated, let me know because you're able to take a short break if you need it, okay? Okay. I'm kinda tired right now. Can I take a short break, please? Sure. Check out your watch, okay? I will see you in two minutes. Okay, great. Okay. You ready to get back to work, Mike? I certainly am. All right, awesome. Grab the price gun. Okay, you already labeled this cup at $8. After Mike uses the skill train when it's hard, it's important for staff to review it with him afterwards to reinforce that skill. All right, Mike, your shift's over for the day. Good job, let's just review a little bit how everything went today. Now, did you try when it was hard? Yep. Good, were you able to ask for help if you needed it? Yep. And were you, if you got frustrated, were you able to take a break? Yep. Good, stayed out of trouble today, got a lot of work done, and you helped out the, the work environment very much. Great job. It's okay not to know everything. If, uh, if, I, have hard work, if I have hard work to do, I can just ask to, uh, ask to watch or take a break or ask for help. So what did we learn? Instead of escalating the problem, we taught the student a better way to cope with the situation. We primed him on that skill before the task, coached him in the moment, and reviewed with him afterwards to reinforce that skill.